Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel and happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday today and today's video I wanted to film like a makeup declutter regret video. Last night I couldn't sleep as usual and I was scrolling through my own Instagram feed kind of for inspiration uh, but I did see this video done by Chic Geek Makeup and I will list her channel and her video down below. It's kind of the same thing. Lately, I've been a little bit sad that I've been, that I decluttered some makeup and I kind of am like, well, I really miss it in my collection and I really wish that I didn't declutter it. And I don't even rem remember like the reasons for decluttering. I know when I moved from my parents' house to my apartment, I did declutter a lot. That was probably part of the reason, but I'm going to kind of go through each thing and tell you my reason for it and whatever else comes to mind. So if you want to see what products that I decluttered and regret, then just keep watching. The first thing that I wanted to talk about was the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. I'll post pictures because I do have them. Yeah, I know in the beginning that I had this palette, I really did like the formula and then towards the end of the time that I had this palette, I was a little iffy with it, but I don't like just decluttering something for like, okay, not liking it is one thing, but then not using it, I just don't like decluttering it for not using it. I feel like that's not a good enough reason in my head. So that palette is so pretty and I'm like a big neutral lover right now at least. I'm also like a colorful makeup lover clearly because the eyeshadow today is bam. <laughs> that palette was so pretty and I loved the looks that I came up with with that and the mattes in there I do remember being really pretty. I do remember some repetition so maybe that's also why I decluttered it. And I don't remember if I, I know I don't really sell a lot, but I declutter it like I give it to friends or whatever. I can't remember who I gave it to, but, or what happened to it, but I definitely miss that palette. <laughs> the next one I know that I got my use out of the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my gosh, you guys know I loved the crap out of that palette. I think I hit pan on almost every shadow, minus like maybe three or four shadows in there. But I loved that palette so much. And for me to just like throw it away was like, I think that's what happened. Because uh, I panned all of it. Which is fine, like I hit pan on it. So I feel like that was a little bit better of a reason for me to throw it away but still like I feel kind of bad and I do miss that palette I would consider repurchasing it but I have like plenty of neutral shadows that I like now and that aren't like old and everything like they're still intact but that is one that you know I miss it for sure and let's see the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette Oh my gosh, I remember going into the store and seeing it, and I was with, with my grandma, and I remember her buying that palette for me. So that was really cool, and I do really miss that palette. I remember, like, it got very old, and the formula wasn't that good. I did get a lot of use out of it. I was scro scrolling through my Instagram and being like, oh my god, I know these looks. Like, they're so much fun, and, like, it's just very eye-pleasing, like... I remember the outer packaging and I remember it being quite small, which was really, it was one of those nine pan Too Faced palettes. Um, so yeah, I do really miss that palette. I do have like my BH Colorful palettes that I absolutely love. So I don't miss it in the sense that like I don't have colorful, colorful shadows, but it's just like the sentimental part of that palette I do miss. And the next one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. And I know that this one, the formula got really old that's the problem with a lot of shadows like once you have them for like you know more than a year they do get it changes the the formula i feel like but the Too Faced sweet peach my friend canoe and i we skype all the time and um do our makeup together and she just used that palette and it made me really miss that palette so much i don't i think i sold that one that one i actually did on mercari so at least i got 
whatever I got for it. Definitely miss that palette and would consider purchasing that ginger one. So we'll see what happens. I mean, right now I'm not doing anything, but... The other one is the Kat Von D, the matte palette, the all matte palette. I feel like it just had some really good basics. And for me, like, a matte palette is not something that, like, I reach for on the daily. But because it's all matte, I need some mix mixes of textures for me to reach for it quite a bit. But it was just nice to have those on hand because now I'm like, oh, I wish I had, like, a cool tone matte brown. And... Like, it was in there, and the formula was good, but Kat Von D is, you, you know, you can't get that anymore, probably, and also, I'm not gonna, like, support her, but, yeah, I do miss that palette a lot, and I would consider buying another matte palette, um, just to have some mattes on hand. I don't know that I have a matte palette, but at the same time, I know I won't reach for it, so it's hard for me to, like, go out of my way to buy it. So that's a little iffy. Who remembers the Mary Lou Manizer highlighter by the bomb? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad that I decluttered that. And I think, like, I had it, like, originally, like, way back then. And then I think I did hit pan on it, if I'm not mistaken. And then I did repurchase it, like, later on. And I still decluttered it. And I don't know why I did that. I'm so mad at myself. Um, that was just a really nice highlighter. You know, they're not that expensive. They're probably like $20-ish, $23, somewhere around that mark. So I might consider repurchasing that. But then again, I have so many champagne highlighters and like that sort of highlighters that I just... And a single is harder for me to use than a palette. I tend to reach for highlighter palettes more now. So, minus the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow, I have that one, and I reach for that one all the time. I love that formula, and I love the color, so. Last thing, and I'll post a picture of this because I don't know how many of you remember this, but the Makeup Forever Neutral Palette. Again, I'm really into, like, the neutral palettes right now, so, like, for me to miss a neutral palette is saying something, too, because I really like my colorful shadows. But I wish I had like a better mix mix right now of neutral and colorful. And that one was a really good formula. Like it didn't have much variety, but if you just needed something, you know, for quick slap on, easy eye look, like that would have been really good to have. And I do miss that one quite a bit. So anyway, those are the the makeup items that I have decluttered and I highly regret purchasing them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!